Yes. Why does the cannon have a magazine on it? The, the bullets are coming from somewhere. Is it me or is How it? How did Amy get here? On yeah. the military base. Everyone was like, "What?" <laughs> no, no, look at. Sh did you see Shadow's expression? Oh, uh, one thing about Elliot, though, when like I already mentioned this earlier, the upgrade that he can get from level one is actually a really good one for Eggman. It's the uh, laser blaster. The one that gives him a bigger blast radius. Yeah, and more yeah. and longer time to change shots. Yeah. Wait, does I didn't know? Why. I wasn't aware of that secondary effect. Yeah, the, sure? yeah, the yeah the yeah the laser gives him more time to change line of oh, shots. I didn't know about that. I thought it just gave him a bigger blast radius. All right, so we got our next boss battle. You know. I can't get my sunglasses to work in the um in the game. I've tried. I got Rouge's uh, treasure sensor from a uh, security, but that right. prompt never comes up. I never get told, "Hey, wear your sunglasses." <laughs> well, I <don't> want to. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he bopped you right off the level. That'd be some shit. The mech versus battles is war of attrition at its fucking finest. <laughs> Don't laugh, everybody the details next time around. I see something up there. I think that was an inv invincibility, I don't know. Oh, Matt's turn. My call. Security Hall. This is a pain in the deck. This is, is my my second least favorite Rouge level in the game. I saw a total pain in the deck to me, but it's kind of a tolerable bad, more so than an outright hate for it. What is it that, that you don't like about it? Honestly, it's just a time limit. That's about the only thing I hate about the level. Yeah, the, the time limit, it's like... It's uh, it's something that really went that could that could work if if it was longer maybe or just take it out entirely, but like well you see, oh, if you're taking it out entirely you can't stand the time limit. Well, see the only th I I am of the same mindset of why I hate the station so much because it's the, it's because of the five minute time limit. It, you and know, that's one it, in the in the previous cutscene you know Eggman sets the time for fifteen minutes and then Rouge gives herself five. I think so, it's five to get in five to find. Five to get in, five to get out, or something like five that. Five to get in, five, five to get to out, five to watch the explosion. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> you always take no, no, time. No. You always got to take time out of your day to smell the roses. No, five to get in, five to get the chaos emeralds, five to get out. So what do you do with the? So extra what are we doing minutes? now? Yeah. <laughs> so what do we do with the extra five minutes? Just waiting, biding our time. No, see, I, you know, I would think, you know. Right. Yes, Matt. Yes. Wait, what was that? Something not reference. Oh, oh okay. Not there. That's another thing you have to keep in mind, though, because sometimes the emerald is behind a safe that's deactivated, and you have and to no. flick a switch to activate that safe. Huh? God help you if you get a chaos emerald behind that situation. No, you just gotta go up here and then switch the gates around. That's what I'm saying, Matt. That's not too bad, though. That, there's, I, a, there's a tether right in the middle of the level you can easily reach. This is something I don't get with the fan. Man, why, is there, why is there money coming out? We're in a security hall. Yeah, it's a vault. That's our taxpayer dollars to work, Elliot. <laughs> use for the use for the giant polit politician game of grab money. You know, you like you ever see one of those old fashioned game shows where you get locked in a booth and then you're told to get collect all the money? Yeah. The cash grab? Yeah, cash grab, thank you. That's kind of what it is, except it's the politicians with our tax dollars. <laughs> hey, get this guys! Obamacare! Ding 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 <laughs> Damn, man. Well, fuck my sticks. Looks like we're going up. We're going up. Ascend. By the way, uh, Rouge's uh, security sensor is in here. Security sensor. You need the iron yeah. boots to get it. Yeah, uh, you need the iron boots to Mystic Melody. Oh, that's right. You need the Mystic Melody to make the platforms appear. Because you can't fly into the crates. Huh? I think you gotta go up. You use the Mystic Melody to make no, the platforms. No, 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 no. I was saying, like, what Eli Elliot just sort of cleared it out for me. I never knew that was all up here. What are you talking about? Up there. Up there? Well, not that it matters. I never had. Oh. I never had. Oh, okay. Here yeah. I knew about. I never had a chaos emerald up here way up there anyway. There's an item capsule up there. I saw, a, I saw a switch too. This is where you go to flick the switches. Right. That's probably it. You got to so flick yeah, it. So yeah, see, these are vault A. So you flick the switch, all the vault A's now will be uh, activated. So you can but go apparently it's down. not down here. It's up there. It's somewhere around here. There oh, it is. It's right there. Huh? Shit. I never had it up here up there. I never had it up there either. How did I, I never reach knew that? You do that? So just fly up and... Uh, there you go. Okay, I never had it up there before. <laughs> it's a good thing your hitbox is pretty big when it comes uh, to Emerald hunting. It's John's next. No name. No, boss fight. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. How is that? Perfect, like me? Absolutely, sweetie. Anyway, no child garden. Oh no. So you're not perfect. <laughs> Sorry. I do what I can. And this is the first game also that ranks you left, right, and sideways. And unfortunately, usually it's pretty fucking poorly. <laughs> anyway, R1, a flying dog. We're going to kill our own undercover agent. Warning for duty. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. That's a, that's a sin. Believe it or not, that's actually true of undercover agents. I'm really serious. Like, a lot of undercover agents end up having to keep up their cover no matter what, so they end up having to commit many heinous acts. You know this from experience? Yeah, believe it or not, that happens a lot in the undercover profession. I learned all about it in my criminology class, in my criminal studies classes. Huh. Believe it or not, that actually causes a lot of cops to go rogue. Sometimes they really get too endeavored into the lifestyle. Anyway, flying dog here is pretty much big shot without legs, so you're going to have to climb climb up and then land with, on with the a, cockpit. With a snake kind of voice. Pretty much. I actually think this fight's easier than the shadow fight, if only because Rouge always has access to Yeah. True, and so you'll never get hit by the gun. And I don't remember shooting the missiles. No, I think it's only fuck if you, you take your time you, with it. You, <laughs> but you're Rouge, you can fly. Yeah. Now, it's Johnny's turn. I still find it weird that the ears flap. Johnny, I, I fucked up and I got myself stuck in the base. Can you come save my life? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Johnny, get out of the child garden. Stop saving my chow, you bastard! <laughs> what I want to know is what the hell was Shadow doing before the stage happens? Like, he's just wandering. There's like, do 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 do. Chow world? <laughs> I guess he just got out of it. Eggman Bob Bomb. Bomb Bomb? That's what it's called. <laughs> get your Bomb Bomb at the Cinnabomb. <laughs> I like Cinnabon. I, I, make, I, I like it too. What's the parallel? Translation? Shadow, I want that bat. <laughs> <laughs> Win it for me at the midway game, Shadow. Welcome oh, to shoot, Troublemaker. <laughs> white, welcome to the white jungle. I don't like this track, even though I can barely make out the words. All you know is, oh yeah, and that's it. Oh, no you sound like Ozzy Osbourne meets Marilyn Manson. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite Shadow tracks. I do like this track, yes. By the way, I know it's kind of weird for us to say this here, but despite the levels apparently having some type of clear dictomy between the two, on some cases it's really not hard just to see a redesigned clone level. For example, like with Shadow here, Sonic has the white, hat Shadow has a green, Sonic has green force, which is pretty much this. Yeah. Without the tethers. And the uh, rainy background. Yeah. But in reality, two in the same thing, sort of. Yeah. But yeah. there's enough of a difference that it doesn't really bother too much. It's just something I wanted to point out, that's all. Yeah, it's no problem, Matt. There's also a power-up to get here as well. Yep, yep. it's mandatory too, so we're not going to miss it. Man. Oh yeah, it oh, yeah the first oh yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, I thought this one was optional for some reason. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I had to go, because I remember, I think I, I may have mis just misremembered it, but I thought I had to go out of my way to get it. <laughs> you're probably thinking of Sonic's Ancient Light. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah. thank you, I'm so sorry. Anyway. What the hell is this? Speed <laughs> shoes? <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, well, no, SA1 didn't do it too either. Well, you want to, if you cross a uh, checkpoint with certain ring amounts, yeah, you get a certain power up, I know. But my thing is, um, like the speed shoes are pretty scarce in this game. One, t one time I actually got the speed shoes with Eggman at Cosmic Wall, right at, right at the uh, roller coaster part. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, gun, hover, you know, gun patrols the forest. Strong. So I think if you cross the checkpoint with I think 80 rings at speed shoes, I think yeah. I think uh, 90 is an electric shield. Yeah, you had 100 when you crossed, then bada boom. It resets after a while. Yeah. All right, this is where we need to get the shoes. But let's take care of these guys first. Into this wooden crate, which leads to a hole which you fall down, and you find a pair of shadow shoes. The air shoes, available now. <laughs> the light speed dash. The light speed dash was changed since SA1. All you gotta do is press the button near. The trail of rings and booyah, instant light dash. I like that. I like that too. Except sometimes, like I said, when you're going at high speeds and you come to a section where you need to do that, you need to somehow kill all momentum with your characters in order to get there. Yeah, because other time, you, oh, I should just do the fucking somersault. And if, if, if that's not a pace breaker, I don't know what it is. And a pace breaker is a colossal pain in the ass, especially <laughs> considering when you fucking die from it. That's how big. I did too. Go robot. Oh, oh damn it! You there goes bitch. my A rank. 
Oh! <laughs> you. Looks like you're not Bitch. going to space camp. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, I wanted to answer before anyway. You won't get that cruise. To, you won't get that cruise to Alaska. Why is he going to Alaska? He's got space camp. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> the Ark space camp. <laughs> I don't know why. I never had that kind of interest in space camp. Because you're, because Elliot, you're. I'd rather stay home and play video games. Which, <laughs> yeah, I would too. <laughs> uh, I think that's just missing it. No, I got it. Okay. Ultimate victory. I, I, can't, I can't remember if the quota was 14,000 or 13,000. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> You're one to talk, Matt. I know. You are so one to talk. I know. What should we call it? Are we going to get our uh, spare power-ups in a separate video? or? Yeah, well, I figure why not. Hey, <sighs> yeah, seriously, what luck? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. All right, I'm gonna try something here. So if I apologize for like a god time. damn you, Shadow, I'll prove to you that I'm twice the fake you'll ever need. You know, you can actually make Sonic shoes that are in this game. Can I make it fall off? I grab a ring. I'm before trying you something out here, folks. I want to see if it works. I grab a ring before you try any shenanigans. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. You're right. The hell? These are character battles, ladies and gentlemen. What's with the AI? <laughs> well, 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 I'm actually doing it to prove how rock stupid the AI is at times too. Rock stupid. Yeah. <laughs> rock stupid. The the bizarro version of rock steady gaming. Whoa. Aw. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> L'Oreal <laughs> <laughs> Shadow, because you're worth it. <laughs> it can't oh. even hit you. Wow. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't circle Robbie like a tub ass. Shadow, apparently Sonic had a few... <laughs> 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 Shadow had a little. Right. I think Sonic had a little too much to drink. <laughs> what I did there was known as a somersault glitch. What happens if you just slightly tap the somersault button? Shadow will not do the somersault, but he his attack hitbox will still activate. Mm -hmm. So the game acts like he's still doing the somersault. So while his hitbox is still active, Sonic only has to run into you to get hit. You can do that with the Sonic fight too, which I will be doing for the sake of book ending. <laughs> <laughs> How does Sonic? How does Shadow get here? Uh, Chaos Control. Sure. When he didn't have the Chaos Number. He doesn't need. He doesn't need a Chaos Number to do Chaos Control. He doesn't. No. The chaos I'd imagine Chaos Control would apply. I use Chaos Numbers no. to do it. Chaos Control is something that Shadow can naturally do. A Chaos Number amplifies it. Oh. So he can use it to travel large distances. And Sonic. That's what you call an ass pool, man. <laughs> <laughs> just, just arc. That's all it is. <laughs> arc. Earth does look like a big blueberry. <laughs> Flashback heads. dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy. Because his what if Jarl was, was just lying? Mistake. What if you didn't realize that uh, Jarl is a weapons scientist, right? So what if you think, what if Jarl was just playing lying to Shadow this whole time and Jarl's always been in as nutty as he always was, just Maria setting him over the edge? Shadow, uh, was Joe Robotnik is a scientist that was contracted by Gunn to for military research and yeah, just, but the thing is though is no, that no, 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 I was, I'm, I'm not, I'm not debating. Oh, I'm just, uh, just bringing up, you know, backstory and shit like that. What were you, what were you trying to get at? Like, so, remember, is if you're hired as a scientist, you're always hired for a particular field. Yeah. You don't hire a physicist to do a biologist's job, so to speak. Yeah. So, or the other way around, you don't hire a biologist to do a physicist's job. But I get the point you're making. Yeah, but the thing is, though, is that if Gerald was hired by Gunn to do the, all this sort of shit, odds are good, Gerald was a weapon scientist. He had to have been, because there's no yeah, he way was, he Yeah, he was, he was contracted to make weapons. Mm. My thing is, I always kind of think Gerald may have been evil beforehand, and he just plain lied to Shadow. I never got that he was evil beforehand. I, I, I always got that he was a little too into his work. Not necessarily evil, because after all, he does make that fucking contract with Black Doom. Right. <laughs> <Shout out laughs> well, mind you, that was bad writing. 
because <laughs> remember, Shadow was supposed. Spoiler alert! Shadow was supposed to die at this. Yeah. So when they elongated him, they elongated his story, and there were they just started pulling out of their asses. There was nothing planned. That story was not planned at all. Completely agree. I do like that little scrolling behind. It was like, I am genius. I am great. I am Eggman. I am God. We, we played Sonic EX already. <laughs> <laughs> and so the space colony art gets to twirl its own mustache. Nah, more like its side, <laughs> more like its side edges. Sideburns. <laughs> Mutton chops. <laughs> of doom! <laughs> and Greedy this is where every th and this is where every point in Sonic games with the moon gets retconned. I see the scene now and the theme da 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 ba da da <laughs> immediately comes to mind. As I was standing there underneath the nighttime sky thinking of my long lost father Jack, I imagined what would happen if the moon blew up and then Sin came up to eat us all. Then I remembered about that giant chaos serpent. Which I then, which after Sonic murdered, Waka then forged it into a sword. My brotherhood. <laughs> uh, God, Lulu has some huge knockers. Anyway, back to the game. I like to imagine that, um... I like to imagine, like... Then I get to willingly blow up the world! <laughs> you would... how? So apparently the, the 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 so blowing up the moon elicits nothing more than a giant shrug. <laughs> no, I think it's because everyone in the world is freaking the fuck out now that they're not listening. Like, hey, hey, I, I'm the one that did that. Would you all calm down? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she printed that out. To be fair, Matt, I I, made, I initially read it back when I first played the game ten years ago, as everyone shrugged it off. Yeah, yeah. It's egg man, what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> It looks like she printed that out. What, the newspaper? <laughs> there, yeah. yeah, there's a side, there's a side printer running next to the uh, giant button that presses that destroys the planet. It is actually a legitimate article. Like, if you look inside the game's data file, you can actually read what's on the paper. Where'd it go? Did she put it in between her boobs? It's one of those space soluble newspaper prints. <laughs> How'd she get signal? Internet. Uh, yeah, internet. <laughs> military walkie-talkie. Now remember, this was a military grade. Yeah. So it's so I would imagine that. Trust, believe. Before we even get into the answer, we have to accept the fact that the government gets way better toys than we do. <laughs> the commissioner of DARPA, for example, could probably get a signal from his cell phone in a submarine. 